Hello everybody, uh, thanks for tuning in to our second video. Uh, one thing I've been getting a lot of questions about is what my opinions are on uh, future collectibles. As everyone in this business, we all understand uh, someday there'll be an end to the supply of Z1s and triples. And uh, interesting bikes like that, the, old, the Suzuki Water Buffaloes and the Honda CB750s. Um, for many years I've been stacking... Uh, original uh, 86 through 92 Suzuki GSXRs. So I'm gonna do uh, just a short video on uh, some of the ones that are in my collection and then some of the ones I have in my inventory um, and well as, you know, as well as the parts and, and everything else and give you just a quick run through of some of these. So this uh, part of the video is in the museum. Uh, so starting right here, these would be the 86s and 87s. And they're commonly called the slab sides or slabbies. This one here is the, the limited edition uh, 750 with the dry clutch solo seat. Uh, pretty hard to get a hold of. Sorry about the sun glare in here. It's just that time of day. Got a couple 1100s here, some 750s. Basically, going right down the line. There's a 87 and an 88 1100. When you get into the 88 model year, the uh, the 1100s are still slab sides, but the 750s are what they call the slingshots, and they kind of have a more roundish body and everything. And then get into the later 89, 90, 1100s, and 750s. And then when you get into the 91 model year, that's when they had the uh, the enclosed headlights and the tail sections were modified a little bit as well. And they uh, switched over to the upside down forks. And so you got, uh, that's up to 91 there, this little batch. Um, just as an interesting note, this, this one here, this beat up, 91 blue and white was my first GSXR I ever owned. Uh, I owned that one when it was only six months old. Went through several previous owners, or actually owners after me, and I was able to purchase it back uh, after I bought the one that's right next to it here. I bought this from a really nice guy down in Louisiana, and uh, then after Quite a few years, I uh, actually uh, met and became friends with a gentleman named Britt Turkington, who was a 1993 uh, World Superbike champ and also the 1991 Suzuki Cup champ. And so the uh, blue and white 91, 750, and 1100s are the bikes that he actually raced and won that uh, Cup championship on. And uh, if you can look here, Britt actually signed this bike here for me and on a visit that he paid to me and uh, so the blue and white uh, 91 750s or if anyone cares those are definitely my favorite uh, paint job in year when you get into some of the 92s and whatnot so I got some of those all the way up to 92 I do have three or four others that are in my workshop right now that we are currently restoring getting ready to bring into the museum but that's what's basically in here at this moment uh, my goal will be to have one of every paint job every year every size uh, gsxr in the collection and most of these are just nice clean uh, original examples um, original paint uh, if, if they have a period correct exhaust pipe or a little bit of custom work, that doesn't bother me too much. Uh, I just uh, really enjoy the old uh, original Suzuki GSXRs. So that's pretty much it for what's in the museum here. And so I'm going to go ahead and pause momentarily and I will take you over to our next building and show you my GSXR room. Hey everybody, uh, we're back. Uh, went into a, one of my other buildings and the room we're going to go into now I just call the GSXR room obviously because 
pretty much all GSXR stuff in here. But uh, there's a pretty decent overview of just what's in here. But I will go ahead and just kind of walk around here real quick and show you some of the inventory that's sitting in here. Now, pretty much everything in this room is all stuff that's, that I would sell. It's all I would just consider it inventory. Um, but I've been buying and stacking uh, first and second generation GSXRs for probably 10 years now. So there's quite a few in here. I think I have about 35 in this room right now. Sorry about that. The little Jarra deal here is spinning around on its own but uh, there's uh, various stages of completion there's most of the bikes in here have original paint uh, and are unmolested just need to be restored or put back together so down this whole row that i just walked you down that's all 88 to 92 gsxrs in that lineup Quite a few 1100s I've got. Somehow I seem to be able to find those quite a bit easier. And then over on this side, there's uh, more slab sides here. Most of these bikes have titles. Uh, I do, as you can pretty much guess. I do pretty much have all the body work and the parts and pieces to put most of these bikes all together and actually make them decent running examples. But then of course I've got just, as you can see, it was bare frames and everything to, to start putting them together from scratch. There's a pretty rare one here that's available. This is an 88 1100. One of the harder ones to find. Uh, there's a built 750 race bike and just another oddball 92. Do have a couple of uh, water cooled third gen GSXR there. Those those are both pretty decent turnkey bikes. But yeah, it should do it for the bikes that are in here. But I've got up on the shelves and whatnot. I've got NOS gas tanks. Uh, good takeoff gas tanks, uh, tons and tons of plastic, as you can tell, for pretty much every year and every color. GSXR. I'll just do a little walk down this wall here for you. So we just passed a bunch of uh, 88 to 92 tail pieces there. And then it goes into some of the slab side parts. There's some slab side tails there. Quite a few. And then down here, just pretty much this whole back wall is 88 to 92 mids. Most of them all are, are pretty decent. There's there's some with a little bit of crash damage and stuff, so for the most part, they're in pretty good shape. So, and anyway, so that kind of gives you a, a little overview of uh, the GSXRs that I have in my inventory as well as in my museum. Uh, as you can tell, I'm a pretty big fan. Um, I would say the total number I have between the collection and the inventory would be somewhere in the 60 bike range. So I don't know if that qualifies for the largest collection in, in the country, but I personally have never seen more in one place. So, you know, let me know if you guys have seen larger or better collections of GSXRs anywhere in the country. I'd sure be interested to go take a look at them myself. Obviously, it's definitely one of my passions. I really, really like these 
motorcycles. So that pretty much concludes the uh, GSXR video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please feel free to leave any comments or questions or anything. And uh, make sure if you can to like and subscribe. And I'm going to get working on uh, our next video as soon as I can. Thanks a lot.